Hi guys, welcome back to this week's episode of IT Investigators. Today, I'm sure everyone has heard of the tale of a certain wooden puppet called Pinocchio. Never. Really? Have you? Uh, guys, those rules too long, yeah? Uh, it's basically a puppet who was created by a lonely craftsman, whose nose, as Genghis Chan has said, gets longer whenever he lies. Well, he's not the only famous puppet we know about. Do you know any famous puppets? Okay, though that's towards the horror side, but yes, I get your point, but like, more a non-horror Family friendly. Also can. Elmo? Elmo? Anyone else? Elmo, but yeah, the, the whole Sesame Street. Yeah. Huh? What is Elmo? Elmo is a puppet, wow. Yeah. Then there's also the Muppet. Okay. The Muppets, Muppets yeah. Um, I don't know, what are the puppets? Yeah, yeah, Yoda, 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 Yoda. <laughs> yeah, Yoda was a puppet. Yoda was a puppet? Yeah, at least in the original. In the original, he was a puppet. Then he yeah. was slowly shifted over the scene. Mm. Uh, yeah, but that basically sums up about it. But do you know puppets were derived from marionettes? What is marionette? Marionette is like a French or a string control puppet. So like, can you imagine like the guy behind the stage? Using the wooden sticks to control the movement. Yeah, yeah. It's quite a delicate. Uh, aren't, aren't they also puppets, technically? Like, yeah, but they are like the more ancient ones. The puppets we're talking about. The main focus like the Muppets and the Ses- and Sesame Streets are mostly hand puppets where they're being using like the glove. Oh, and then they stick their hands. Okay, so and then different. they can control it a bit. So that's a bit easier. Yeah. And it's also more like because you can get under the screen and you can do it like this. So it's easier. And since it's hand, you don't have to do like this and control. Because mm. your strings is a bit harder. More skill, huh? Yeah. But I think today we'll be talking about like how puppets and like all these props are used to propagate uh, our imagination in like media. It's, it's quite interesting, you right? Propagate our imagination? What do you mean? Like they are, you use these puppets to like create like CGI uh, models of like maybe a dinosaur or like, from like a small hand like a small hand puppet. They actually happen. Really? You actually do? Yeah, it's like a mod like a certain suit, like a green suit, right? Then, they can animate it so that it becomes like a velociraptor. Oh, yeah. those you just put dots. Thing. Not necessarily, you also could do that, but it's really just a green skin, like, it's a whole green suit, and people are ma- managed to do like, this kind of thing. What do you mean, like, the, the, the way the hawk is animated? It's just a, like, a big head on top, and then, like, a... Actually, you know, hawk was an animator, yeah. Like, I, I know the later editions of the hawk was animated like that, right? so it's... No. Mark Ruffler, like he wore like the suits with like all those balls, and then he was like just acting like as the Hulk, but then they were animate like a bigger person in the CGI portion. That's how they did it, lah. Yeah, I'm thinking of the the Thanos, uh, because I know oh, like, yeah, Thanos I, I know, design, I, yeah. I know the model they had was uh, like a few, huge head, a few meters high. Yeah, yeah, that one was Thanos, just to yeah. guide your eye line and whatnot. It's interesting, uh. well, yeah, but do you know the Muppets were created back in the nineties. And they survived till now, and they were, I would say they're even a staple. But they're not. Uh, how are they hand puppets? It's quite interesting, you know, uh, Kermit? Like, it's, basically, it's really just a hand puppet, like, it's made with a sword by Kermit. Then they you, they just put their hand inside, and then they control. But some of them, they have more variations, like, maybe the hands are tied to a set of sticks. Then, like, oh, the, then they yeah. control. I see, I see. Because, because my, I, I remember seeing strings uh, when I like, saw, so we all go. I was never a fan of Muppets, honestly, so. I was more of a fan of like Sesame Street, like Cookie Monster. Man. The time has come for this cookie! They were so big that Disney had to acquire them, which they did in 2004. Now, although, like, you know, how we all think like puppets are for kids, like, like Sesame Street is for kids, Bird and Bird is for kids. Muppets were in for adults, and like, there were so many adult jokes inside, I don't think we would have catched it if we watched Muppets when we were kids. They're not of kids, I've never adult watched jokes, it. I think. I mean, our generation, like maybe three, four years old? Uh, yeah, I mean, in three, four years, you don't understand any years, don't you? Uh, that, that's a, just a fact, right? Yeah. Well, like, yeah, Muppets were, you know, they were actually aimed for to be uh, to be targeted at the o- adult audience. Seriously? Yeah, they were, but kids still watch them. That's why there are so many dirty jokes also. Oh, really? Yeah. I, didn't know. I, I, thought, I thought it was always for kids. Like, you know, when you see a bright, colorful cast of Two big for life characters. Normally, that's like some sort of. Yeah, I guess. Like, honestly, you know the Muppets compared to Sesame Street, it's like 
Sesame Street is okay lah. Like each character is like a certain dominant color. Elmo is red. Cookie Monster is blue. Big Bird is yellow. Uh, the trash, the trash thing. I forgot his name. Ooh, I, I know exactly what I'm talking yeah, about. You know, right? And you can put a picture right here. Yeah, yeah okay. but it's basically like a dirty green. Yeah. And when it comes to Muppets, it's not really any bright colours. It's just like more uh, human, hum, like more uh, human, human colours. Like Kermit is like just a frog. Miss Piggy is like Kim Kardashian. Oh. It's like with the long curls. Pink. pink. She's not even pink as a pig. She's like more of a human skin tone actually. Oh, I mean, Kermit is green, the pig's pink. That's roughly how I remember. Yeah, I the remember. The pig was never pink. really pink, but yeah, I get what you mean. But yeah, I was never the biggest fans, fan of the Muppets. I never really liked them. So. Yeah, like what we were saying just now, like, even Yoda was a puppet. Like back when the original trilogy was filmed, like 1977, around there? Like Luke Skywalker went to Dagobah. Yeah. And then he met this Yoda. Like imagine like a uh, smart character like when you're filming. You meet this so-called green alien which is just a puppet. Which making all these weird sounds like <laughs> you have to carry a whole puppet around. Oh, but well, you've got no choice, right? Yeah, but but honestly, time. as a if I were to be an actor, I wouldn't be able to imagine like maybe interacting with the head puppet as if it's an actual thing like Master without breaking into a smile. Can you imagine? That's why you're not an actor. Yeah, exactly. No one here is. Yeah, it's quite interesting how they manage to do it. Uh. But although tech, I mean, even now, you know, you know, sequels for Star Wars, which was made in 21, around there, they, they managed to animate Yoda, finally, instead of a, hand, instead of a puppet one. Um, but I mean, the puppet one was pretty good, though. It, like, was it, good. it looks legit. For like, its, uh, when it was made, it was pretty good. Now, although, like we said, tech has definitely advanced to the point where a character can simply be animated realistically into a movie, mm-hmm. like Avatar. Have you seen like how they make a human dude into like a four meter tall huh? dude with like all these like oh, you mean six legged huh? horses, like a four wing pterosaur? Touch the tree. Huh? Mm-hmm. You see them? Oh, there's this tree that you're supposed to touch. Are you okay? No <laughs> way. <Wait, laughs> <wait, laughs> touching wrong, touching man. tree. That is so. You thinking a hobby or what? The, isn't there a tree that you have to touch huh? there with a tree or oh, yeah. a knowledge thing? Right? No, I have no idea. Yeah. No, I don't think so. But yeah, speaking about that, even Hobbit was also... Smog the Dragon was also a... 3D animated, like a dude was wearing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Smog, smog, which is quite cool. But yeah, like, even, but even now, some characters are still played by puppets and people wearing green screens off props. It's just that in the final sh- uh, SFX shots, they edit it so that it looks more lifelike and realistic. Which is quite cool, uh. I mean, it'd be, it'd be quite funny if, like, it was that, that suit, right? That's so unflattering and, like, oh. Yeah, like, there are a few examples, like, you know, Jura- the recent Jurassic World movies, like, yeah. trilogies. Like, you know, Velo- Blue and all the Raptors. Oh, god damn. <laughs> it was quite <laughs> weird. <laughs> like, the dude was just the acting, and then he was- Chris Pratt was- had to do- be, like, so serious with that. It was quite funny. Wait, was it a side view or, like, the guy's just in the costume? The guy was in the costume. And then can you see that? The, oh, you can actually see the pink part. Right? Yeah, they just CGI'd it up. It looks so weird though. Why is like It looks like, why is he pink? I have no idea. I think he's just wearing a skin suit. Oh, I, I, I would hope so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, why would, I know. Uh, no, it's not a skin suit, never mind. They're even wearing Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this scene just hits different. Yes, uh, well, moving on. Yeah, I just ruined your childhood. So oh, okay. what is this? The live action Jungle Book. Uh, I forgot the main character's name actually. But you Ma- know how. Ma- huh? Ma- uh, M O L W L G I or something, right? I have no idea how to pronounce it and I will not attempt to pronounce it. But uh, basically, the main character yeah. is surrounded by all these like the Shere Khan, the tiger, uh, the panther, the bear. Yeah. In the live action movie, right? Like, he was living with a tribe of wolves, right? You know how the wolves are animated? It was just the dude sitting, the actor sitting down there. And the wolf was a guy holding a wolf head. It was a puppet <laughs> of a wolf head. Oh. It wasn't even like anything else, it was just a wolf head. <laughs> it, seriously. The mighty power of imagination. And then they managed to animate it until it was like a super, it was like super realistic. Then, Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm sure everyone knows Drax. Who's that? 
you why is Gamora? You, you mean Rocket Raccoon? Drax and Rocket Raccoon. I thought Rocket Raccoon was a bigger example. Cause like, oh, no, no, no. what I mean is like, there was like this scene where Drax was comforting Rocket Raccoon by patting his hair. Oh, that was. Yeah, and basically Rocket, that scene was basically Drax patting the Why are we still here? Yeah. yeah it, it, it looked quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> it was hilarious. But the weirdest one was Twilight. Oh, I don't think I'll ever watch Twilight because it's so weird. It's like some weird uh, fantasy love romance uh, drama. Uh, vampire romance. Well, that's the well, that's so far as the reason I've not touched it. I have no idea. I only heard of it and I'm quite disgusted by it. But I'm this glad CGI? that you have no idea. <laughs> yeah, you should. This is the CGI. It isn't even a green suit or a blue suit. It's a green suit with a guy just like, Hey, I'm sexy. <laughs> eh? Nice way to put it. No, look, 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 look at this. <sighs> okay, nice one. Oh, that looks so funny. And they can't even use a green screen because... Yeah, it's so weird. <laughs> like, yeah, that's basically about it. And there was a scene where she was riding the wolf. No way. How okay, can you imagine? I, there's so no what? back behind the, the scenes the, for that. The, the, the dude is just on the ground and the... Uh, yeah, maybe. No one vision like that. <laughs> After that, Life of Pi. Have you watched Life of Pi? No. It's quite a critically acclaimed movie. No. I think. So no. basically, it's a story of. It's a bit too irrational and long for me. Yeah, I watched it when I was eight. Actually, I was quite intrigued by it. I like watching those kind of movies. Life of Pi. So like basically, this dude, his family ran a zoo in Canada, but he wanted to move back. His family wanted to move back to India with all the animals. Uh. So they had like this whole uh, container ship with all the animals inside, and there was this particular tiger, who they were all scared of. So like, because of like, you know the classic ship goes into ocean, thunderstorm, the uh, last only survivor. Uh, but this time around, the, t- the tiger managed to get on the lifeboat. It was like a small lifeboat. And it was just a dude and the tiger. Okay, initially there was a hyena and a zebra. But the hyena killed the zebra, and the tiger killed the hyena. Fair enough. So it's messed up. Yeah, so basically the whole story is how he and the tiger bonded together. By the end, once they landed on like an actual island, the tiger just ditched him. And he was like, No, my best friend, what am I for? Oh yeah, so basically the tiger was CGI. And you would think that it was a person wearing a green suit, right? Oh, what fresh hell is this? Oh no, no, this is just an animation. It wasn't even a... It wasn't even a puppet. It was not even a person. It was a stuffed animal, which did not even look... Like no, a tiger. No, 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 that's not a stuffed animal. That's like a pillow in the general shape of a animal. Is animal. Like a hey, but yes, it does not even look like a tiger. It looks more like a mutilated rhino cut in half from the torso now. Wow. Like, I mean, like, I look, 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 look at it. This. It looks like a. It, look, it, it looks like <laughs> a beanbag gone wrong. It really does. And then, like, the final cut was like also this monstrosity. What the hell is that? Ah, okay. So. What other examples do you have? Yeah, that's basically about it. There was quite a few already. I'm sure like many of us can think of more, of more like more examples. More instances, you know. What yeah, like uh, for example, you know Toothless. Ah. Right? He was modeled after the creator's ah. cat. Ah, yes. It was, he's quite a cute oh. animal. So. That's also a very interesting application. Is it a black if, one? It's a yeah, black dragon. Yeah. Yeah. It's a different application of this, you know. Mm. Completely a different project. Yeah. Hey, sorry, different angle of using it. Yeah, but yeah, I think it was... How, uh, because of this, well, technology is also able to advance to a point where we're able to create like these realistic fantasy settings without like just using, we've moved on from using simply puppets into like 3D modeling in like a computer to make it look so realistic that like, you can't even tell the difference whether it's real or not. And like, can you imagine watching it? That's the sweet aroma of fear. It looks so realistic, like, maybe you even get scared shitless. It, it, it's not, you know, it's very hard to differentiate, yeah? Yeah, but like, even now with all these like green screen, CGI and all, the most crude of them all, hand puppets, are still being used today. I mean, Muppets, they're still so popular. Sesame Street is still so popular than Universal Studios. Like, Singapore is USS. There's still a some Sesame Street se- section for it. I mean, Sesame Street is, it never dies, I think. It's, they've got so much produced. Ah, I guess it's true, but like, now there's so many weird like, children stuff, so I have no idea. Have you seen the, the baby shark collab? Oh. oh. You know the, the collab I'm talking okay, about? Okay, right? I think we should end the video here today. Uh, right. Thanks for watching uh, today's video. Uh, 
Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down telling us what do you think is your, your favorite instance of your of like these puppets in movies or like maybe even 3D modeling in movies. And we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.